This is the reference photo that I'm going to use for today's demo. Uh, it already has a good composition, but uh, I'm going to use this particular area for today's demo. The lighthouse would be my focal area in this particular painting, and the greenery on the right would kind of lead the viewer's eye towards the focal area. I will also add a few figures here uh, just to add a bit of life to the scene. So let's go ahead and see how we can paint this. I'll start uh, by mixing the sky blue first for that I'll be using a bit of a cerulean blue and a bit of cobalt blue and to that mix I'll add a bit of green as well so by green I mean I'll add a bit of a cobalt teal blue just to uh, cool down the blue a bit I'm just laying down a flat wash, nothing complex there. Only thing that I need to be aware is that I need to cut around the lighthouse properly because uh, I'm going to just leave the white of the paper for the lighthouse. So the edges need to be nicely done. So I need to be careful where the sky meets the lighthouse. I'm introducing a bit of uh, warm colors as we move towards the horizon. Just a bit of uh, Queen Actrine Rose. Next I'm going to mix the warm colors for the sand. I'll start with a bit of yellow ochre and introduce a bit of red into it. The moment I put in the color I realized that it's a bit too warm. So I mixed the blue that I had mixed earlier and just to just to neutralize the warmness a bit. Parts of the grass is like pretty warm, so I use the same uh, warm mix that I mixed earlier to put them in. So, and uh, rest of the grass would be painted in green. Use a bit of red, 
some brightness into the painting so I'll mix a bit of red with burnt sienna and try to f fill in all the areas that has that bright red starting with the lighthouse and next the door of the lighthouse and I'll also introduce that red into the figures as well It's a good thing that I have added these figures. It, it kind of gives us a scale of things. As you can see that the lighthouse is, it's not a huge lighthouse. It's a pretty small one. So the only way that I can communicate that is by adding something that we know the size of. So by adding these two figures next to the lighthouse, we kind of get an idea of how tall this particular lighthouse is. As you can see in the reference photo, the greenery on the right of the painting, it's, it's a combination of kind of a muted pale green and also some patches of a dark warmer green. So I'm now adding the muted uh, pale green and next uh, I will mix the warmer green. And I let both the greens mix at certain areas and I want them to be distinct in certain areas as well. I'll add a bit of a cobalt blue into the green as well just to darken it a bit more in certain areas. The underlying warm wash is now completely dry so once I put in this cool dark color on top uh, the warmness just kind of shows through this uh, dark wash and it kind of gives a glow otherwise it's like a boring gray color so it's uh, good to have kind of a warm underlying wash for such uh, colors.
I'm just trying to leave a few white marks for the waves and I also need to cut around the heads of the figures so those are the things that I'm aware of and of course I need to cut around the lighthouse as well and I'm taking as much time as possible and trying to get this shape correctly put in with regard to the waves I'm not that really worried I can always use a bit of white paint later but uh, cutting around the figures is a bit more tricky and more important and it kind of looks around okay at the moment so no dramas there Using this dark green mixed with a bit of burnt sienna and blue uh, to put in the shadows in the foliage. Because it's tonally dark, I can use the same color to put in the rocks as well.
I'm gonna paint the figures. So I'm gonna give the person on the left kind of a a dark uh, kind of a, a jacket because. I took this reference photo during summer, but it was quite a windy day and uh, I need to show that in my painting and uh, one way of showing that is by using uh, the relevant clothes on the figures and also you can see them somewhat in the, the way the grass is painted as well. Next I darken a few areas of the sand and I'll be using the same uh, color to darken the lighthouse a bit as well. I'm just going to use a bit of clean water and try to smoothen the lighthouse a bit more and uh, so that it uh, it blends much better with the background and a few adjustments to the sh uh, the waves as well I'm using a bit of white gouache to add a few seagulls and uh, I'll use a bit of dark color to make them a bit more prominent. That concludes our demo. Uh, I have uploaded the completed painting and the reference photo and have given the link below in the description. Uh, please feel free to use the reference photo and uh, give it a go and see how the painting turns out. Hope you enjoyed this demo and hope to see you in another video.